Let's talk about non-square systems. A non-square system is any system where the number of equations does not equal the number of variables. And typically that means there's fewer equations than variables, but it also could be true if it, there were more. And so we're going to look at a particular example. Let's look at x plus 3y plus 2z equals 4 and 2x plus 7y minus z equals 5. And so the first thing to notice here is we have three variables, but we only have two equations. So this is a non-square system. So as a non-square system, we're going to solve it using Gaussian elimination just as we did before. We want to get a, one, a 1x one here, which we have. So then we're going to get rid of this. So we're going to take 2 minus 2 times 1 and store that in equation 2. So that's minus 2x minus 6y minus 4z equals minus 8. Everything doubled and changed signs. So now we copy the first equation since we didn't make any changes to it. And we get no x, a single y, a minus 5z, and a 5. Well, our next step is to get a single y here, which we already have. But notice we don't have another variable, another equation to get rid of. So what we have to do now is just like our consistent dependent problems, we solve y. We solve for y in this equation, so that y is equal to 5z plus. Oh no, nope, I made a mistake. That should be a minus 3. Minus 3. And now I'm going to take this, and wherever I have it, it's going to go into the first equation. So now we get x plus 3 times 5z minus 3 plus 2z, and that's going to equal 4. So we distribute, get 15z minus 9 plus 2z equals 4 x plus 17z minus 9 equals 4. So x, that should be a z, not an x, is minus 17z plus 13. So now we know that our y is 5z minus 3. Our x is minus 17z plus 13. So our answer is the point minus 17z plus 13, 5z minus 3, and z. Notice we have a parametric answer again. And that's what we look for is these parametric answers. And that's all we can do with these non-square systems because we can't get an answer. We don't have enough equations.